Hi there and happy Halloween. Daddy's jamming. Um, we got this out of the case. It's a communion box for a Eucharistic minister or a priest. I'm gonna close it and hopefully it won't lock. <laughs> there you go. Danny, can you hold that? Let's test it. <laughs> See if it opens back up. And it does. Okay. <laughs> so we'll get that and then Jenny slide that over there, which is kind of spooky. I spied the Christmas dress. I thought that was funny. <laughs> but then look over here. They have a little country uh, country thing going on over here. It's pretty cute. <laughs> this looks like a pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. Doesn't it? Huh? It looks like a pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. You want to be a Christmas tree. Oh, Jenny, look at the fairy wings. That would be for red and black. That's not close enough. And I mean, it's a bit bent. I would like to smooth it out something. Do you want to try them on? I can cinch it up and make it more snug. And then we could add some orange. Or it might be upside down. Because these are your little feelers. I think it's upside down. But you want to get it? Yeah. Okay. Or a costume for the Renaissance thing. Yeah. We're still looking for a purple suit. Nope. Purple suit for uh, you. Giant ladle, spoon. Jenny's singing. She's gonna get me demonetized. I'm lip singing now. Whenever <laughs> you fill. And I guess that spells family. It says family on here. So I would think that spells family. And these are napkin rings. Oh, there's a store on the floor. America. I feel like we're gonna find some super good today. A little Japan creamer, dollar ninety nine. These little birdies, they're resin. Okay, sweet. We have some red and gold glasses. Oh, there's some more. Two more. There's three of them. Here's the Easter cross. This hobby is piece. Well, um, no, that's not a hobbyist piece. It looks like a hobbyist piece. It'd be perfect for Easter time. And then I saw this cross over here. It's an interesting cross here. I wonder if this glows. Jenny, you think that yellow glows? No. No. All right, hold on. Okay, Jenny says it doesn't glow. What do you think? It, it's going to glow? All right, here we go. Oh, Jenny was right. And so were you. You were like, it's not going to work. <laughs> There's a light. Oh, it's a votive candle. Probably for outside. $3.99. That's pretty. I think it goes like this. That's pretty. That'd be pretty with a candle in it. Okay, let's see what these are. There's a whole bunch of them, and they're made in Taiwan. What are these? Roger Tory Peterson. Looks like it's an egg. I'm going to have to investigate. Take one out and see. There's a little sand. I'll put it back. I don't know. Oh, it's from the Danbury Mint. It's the porcelain songbird eggs. Play a little closer. Hey, good job. That's pretty. They're three dollars a piece. Oh, to press red. Yes, I press red. Oh, it's a, it's a cocktail shaker. Oh. <laughs> it's a cocktail shaker. I would think it's a perfume model, but oh, it's a bit no. too big though. Oh, there's a pineapple there. <laughs> it's six ninety nine. Would you like a drink of some pineapple juice? <laughs> this little face is sweet. 
Japan. Oh, blurry. There. Nope, it's still blurry. <laughs> there it goes. It's a cute little vase. I didn't really see anything brand new. Let's see. So far we have wings, a light, and a and a communion box. You're not playing along with me. A napkin holder. Made in China. That's cute. These little fancinesses here. $3.99. And this one is $3.99. There's some china down there. A whole bunch of hand sanitizer. Look, it's Susie. Mm -hmm. No, it's a clean. It's a clean one. The clean shit <laughs> zoo. We, we took a. Is wet. I know. We took yeah. We took her to, and gave her a bath, and then the next morning she promptly got dirty. Oh, here's some bluebirds. There's yellow ones over there too. I never seen bluebirds like that before. Well, oh, I don't think they're bluebirds. bluebirds. They they're um, like bluebirds. Yeah. What are you talking about them? Those are fancy birds. They look like, they look like parakeets. <laughs> oh, here are the um, glasses from the other they side. They look like parakeets. Probably. Those are pretty. Those would be pretty with candles all in them. They had this in the case. They had this in the front case for the longest time. Now they've put it down here on the shelf. It's going to get broken though, poor thing. It's been here forever. The sticker is from... It's kind of been... It's from July. It's been here since July. Maybe now someone will see it and get it. Here's the Last Supper. Da Vinci's Last Supper. That's heavier than I thought it would be. It's very shiny. There's another light. Is this one red? Oh, this one's a red one. I think they're neat. I think it's neat that it's, um, oh, that's flash glass and it has a hair on it. <laughs> now I don't think mine's as special. It's pretty though. They are pretty. There's a random hair on it, which is kind of gross. Okay, I'll get them. <laughs> This is neat. This looks like it's enamel on copper. I wonder if there's a signature under there. Danny, can you see? Look at it. Do you need a cereal bowl? Um, I actually have a couple of those for sale. What, the cereal bowl or this? Those. But I got them a while ago. This is cool. Because it has like copper wiring here. And it's a really neat design. I like it. Do you like it, Jenny? Neat. Okay. I'm going to trade the light for the bowl. I don't know. Finding the other light made me think this isn't as cool. So I'll put them together. There. I have two of those. Here's some geese. Napkin rings. Oh gosh, it's heavy. Oh gosh. Whoa. No missing. Who made that? Wow. That is a heavy plate. And then these other little. Okay, they made it into a wreath. Oh, they shrunk wrapped the plastic eggs and made it into a wreath. That's clever. Let's see if there's any other Christmassy stuff. Handmade car. I don't see anything else. Should we go? Yes. Down more. What are these cuphead plushies? Plushies. So many. So Jenny has this one. That's King Dice. So I'm gonna. So who are, who's everybody? Who's this? Jenny? Chalice. Chalice. And this is chalice in ghost form. Or spirit form. Spirit form. You know one works. Okay. I think this one, where where did it go? The bee. I think this one's funny. What she's called Honey Bottom. Rumor Honey Bottom. Rumor Honey Bottom. And I'm still lying from her. Yeah, she said she's hard to get. And then she says Carla Maria. She's Carla really, Maria. Right? Why does she look so angry? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean she looks annoyed. Wow. And this guy, he doesn't this look like the guy from 
Popeye. Oh, okay. He has two peg legs, Jenny said. Yes. And then who are, these are the Cuphead, these are... M Mugman and Cuphead, and he's like stuck. They're adorable. <laughs> and then, oh, there's a, this one. Cat, cat, um, cat, um, Cagney. Cagney? Uh, ca Cagney? I don't know how to spell his name. Oh, it sounds like my name. <laughs> and then there's the devil. <laughs> he looks like, he looks like ah. When you face Genie? Yeah. When you face Genie, uh, this little, this guy comes up who mimics like one of the, the cup oh. bros. See how he looks like them? Yeah. Like oh yeah, Pinocchio. he does look similar to him. Like Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah. In the next clip, the background music is extremely loud. So I'm just preparing you that it's going to be loud, but you're going to hear us talking. It even has like the mat, like mats, like like the trick or treaters. The trick or these are the trick or treaters, right? Yeah. I'm so scared right now. You're so scared and you're so excited. Um, this is on the side, but everything else is like kind of creepy looking. Look, here's the makeup we needed when we when you were Sally. And I still rock, I still rocked it. You did. I didn't think of coming here for it. Because we didn't know oh, about it. Jack's oh, look. Love. It's a Barrel's Lollipop that he licks. Mm -hmm. oh, that, oh, oh Jenny, look. Gloves. Here are the Sally tights, too. Oh, that was amazing. Look, Sally gloves. And her hair. And her gloves. Socks. And the wig. <laughs> well, it's going to be boogie. Oh, okay. That's just not good. Cool. That sweater's cool. Oh, that is oh, that's adorable. It makes it look like it's old. That's, that's really cool. And then we got cool. these, too. The next day. We are back at Goodwill and I spied this on an end cap immediately. I believe it's Daisy and Buttons pattern. Even though it is large, I just, I couldn't resist. I thought it was so cool. The gold, these gold vases is what caught my eye. Just the gold, the glimmer, the shine. But they are $4 a piece, so I left those on the shelf. I was hoping that this was wood. It was not. It was plastic. And then they had some safari animals here. I thought they were kind of rudimentary in the style of them. I saw this bear and I was going to pick up the bear, but then I noticed his eyeballs were wonky. One was higher than the other. So I left the bear with the other animals on the shelf. And then I made my way over to this crown. I thought that was different. It was an, a more contemporary piece. It was just a crown. I felt something else would have gone with it. I thought that was weird. It's a toilet lid that said Johnny on it. <laughs> This little mailbox was an FTD flowers box. I thought that was cute, but I left that there. I really like the, the design on this Holly Ross Ewer, E-W-E-R, or Pitcher. Even though it was $5, I just, I really like the design of it. It reminded me of fall. Then I, when I opened this up, all it was was a piece of faux wood inside a plastic ring. So it's kind of anticlimactic. These were really cool. I thought they were uh, really nice. Very vintage, uh, kind of a brutalist piece, but also keeping with the marsh and a pond theme. And so at three ninety nine dollars a piece, I decided to get them. They do show some wear. A little bit of the uh, metal is bent, and one of those is a little loose. But overall, in great vintage shape. I don't know much about Star Trek things, but there was a whole bunch of these glasses. So I did stop and look them up on sold comps, on eBay, and on Worth Point. They didn't, weren't bringing in a lot of money, and so I left those there. I don't know if I look at this every time I go in, but it catches my eye every time I go in. It's a very large cup. And then they had this just little trinket dish. It looked like it was some studio art pottery. It was signed on the back of it. And then this, I thought at first had that crystalline kind of crackle, not crystalline, but more of a crackle glaze inside it and I think it was a votive holder I wasn't quite sure and then I wanted to know who made this and it was marked only a dollar fifty I don't know what was going on there someone was trying to sell it either for a hundred fifty or a dollar fifty checking to see if this was not fire and light <laughs> you never know you never know always check and I thought this was really pretty it was a flash glass I would think a butter Keeper, probably. It was marked $6.99 in really good shape, but not for me. And then I thought this was pretty. It was $4, and the stamp, whoever made it, it's kind of double stamped. So at first it was hard to read. I felt that there was a crack right there. It is out of Bedford, Virginia. It's a nice little bud vase, but I left that there. Those blue plastic chicken dishes, <laughs> those I think are going to be there 
forever. They've been there forever, it seems like it. And now we're in the white section. Here is a Ray Dunn trinket box. I don't know very much about Ray Dunn. I know the older pieces sell well. I don't usually tend to pick up Ray Dunn items. I thought this uh, wa water or drink dispenser was really pretty. And it was marked $12.99. I thought I liked it. I liked how it was white on white. And then here are some plates. Just looking to see if there was anything exciting about the plates. Not really, but sometimes it's fun to look through them. I thought this pig dish was cute. And then I wondered if there were, if it came with different farm animals. That'd be a neat idea. You could have like a chicken, a duck, a cow. <laughs> have a whole farmhouse decor set of plates for you. Now we're moving on to the toy section. There was a whole bunch of these. And then I turned and I saw this. I couldn't resist. I have a friend who collects dolls and she's very knowledgeable about dolls, but I know that some people find them a little creepy, especially if they're all on a shelf. And it being Halloween, I couldn't resist. I hope you don't mind. In the bins, they had this made in Japan teapot. It was marked $9.99, which really surprised me. So I put it back in the bin and made my way around to the other side. And when I peeked in this bin here, Look at that. I spied the top of an owl figurine amongst all that china. It was made by the Franklin Mint. It's a spotted owl figurine and it is fabulous. And then it turns out all these cream soup cups are dated from 1906 to 1930 based on the maker's mark. Here is what the maker's mark looks like. And they were sold for a store out of Philadelphia. And then I saw these little textured fruit bowls in the white section. I thought those were pretty interesting. And we're going to wrap up this trip to Goodwill by looking at all of these individual spice containers that were marked $1.99 each, which is kind of a shame because they were pretty cool, but too much. Here is everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. Thank you so much for your support of my channel by hitting the thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't yet, and hitting the bell notification so you know when I drop another video. I hope you are having a great day. I hope it's spooktacular. And if you don't celebrate Halloween, I hope you're having a great Monday. And I'll see ya.